Hello and welcome coders to the Sky Coding. So this is chapter three of our SQL series, and in this session we will deal with a very important concept about tables, and we will do the practical so that your concepts will be more clear. As my SQL is just a relational database management system, so in that scenario tables is a very important concept because in RDBMS softwares data is just present in the tabular form, means in the form of rows and columns. Okay. So these are some of the contents which I have written about this session. So we will see how can we create a new table. We will see the metadata for creating the new table, and we will see how can we create a table using another table. Suppose that you are having any of the existing table and you want to create a new table with the same metadata columns. So we will see how can we do that thing. And after that, we will alter the table and we will see how can we add or delete columns. How can we show column? How can we rename the column? And how can we alter the metadata? Or uh, how can we alter and change the data type of any of the columns? And after that, we will see show tables, rename tables, describe tables, drop tables, and after that, we will cover a very important concept that is temporary tables. We will see how many types of tables are present and what is the difference between these tables, temporary, transient, and permanent tables, and how can we create the temporary tables and what's the benefit of temporary table. And after that, we will see how can we copy the data from one table to another. Basically, we will do the cloning. After that, in the Final step, we will uh, delete and truncate the table. Okay, so these are contents of this session. Okay, in the previous sessions, we have covered full introduction from basic level of MySQL. So, if you are a beginner to MySQL and if you are from the non-IT background as well, then also you can learn MySQL very easily because here we use just a simple English language. And in the previous session, we have done the successful installation of MySQL workbench. So, let's start the practicals without wasting any time. Okay. And guys, uh, let me tell you how can you write the comments in MySQL Workbench. Okay, so if you want to write the multi-line comments, then you have to just give first of all forward slash and asterisk. Then you can write your comment, and after that you have to just give asterisk and forward slash. So please, so this is just a multi-line comment. Okay, and if you want to write the comment which is a single line comment, then you have to give simple two hyphens like this. Okay, so suppose that first of all we will uh, do these things point wise. First of all, we will see that how can we create a new table. Okay. So you have to write. Uh, let me write here creating a table. Okay, create a table. We will see first. Okay. So before creating a table, as we have discussed in the previous session, then we have to create a database because database is just a container, or you can call it as a folder where all of the data files, tables will be stored, and the data is present in the form of rows and columns in the tables, and tables are stored in the database. Okay. So we will uh, first of all create the database, and after that uh, we will create a table in that database. Okay. So first of all, let's create a database. Create a database, and uh, let's give this name as chapter. Okay, let's correct the spelling for chapter. Chapter three. Chapter three, right? And let's create the database. Okay, and if you want to execute this these queries, then you can use this I button for executing single query, and other you can use this non I button for executing all of the queries which is written in this SQL query tab, right? Or you can use Control and Enter. I have used the Control Enter for executing this query. Okay, you can use any of the methods for executing the queries, right? So let's refresh and let's see. You can see we got this Chapter Three database. Okay. So for that you have to use this database so that all of the queries which you write here will fetch the data from only this database. Okay, so for that you have to use the database. These all things we have covered in the previous session. So let's use the database. As you can see, this is highlighted in the bold letter chapter three. So whatever query we write in this tab, these all these queries will just fetch the data or insert the data from this chapter three database only. We will not test other databases such as Sky or so. Okay, so this is just a database which MySQL use for its execution of the queries, right? So database is ready. Now we are. Are uh, going to create a table. Okay, so for creating the table, just uh, you have to write the simple syntax. So you have to just write create keyword, create table, create table, and after that you have to give the table name. Okay, suppose that I want to give employee. I want to create an employee table. Okay, so I will write like this way: create table employee, and after that you have to give the parenthesis. And after that, you have can just enter so that uh, we will write this thing in the syntax. Why right? there is no syntax? You can write all things in same same line also, or you can just uh, write in different different lines. Okay, because we will just give the semicolon. So the semicolon wherever I will give the semicolon, that will be at the end of the line. Okay, so you can write in single line or you can write in multiple lines. Okay, we are writing in multiple lines so because it will it will look very good and so that you can understand the things better. That's why I am writing like this. Okay. 
so create table employee after that you have to start the parenthesis and after that you have to give your column names means what columns you want in your table suppose that first of column i want employee id employee id and the second column i want employee name and the third column i want employee address employee address and the fourth column i want employee salary and the fifth column i want employee employee phone right so i want these five columns in our table where data will be present in the rows and columns okay so we are creating that table okay so you have to just use create table employee is you have to start the parenthesis and after that you have to give your column names okay and after writing the column names we have to give that which type of data you are going to enter in these specific columns suppose that this is employee id then you have to give here that which data type this employee id can store we have discussed about data type in our previous session we have seen the big difference between worker and care as care is storing just a fixed length string but worker is just storing the variable length string okay so you can watch that session in the from the description box okay and guys don't worry we will provide you all of these queries in the description box there is a github link given you can just download all of these queries from there or you can just join my whatsapp group or you can text me on the instagram if you are facing any type of simple doubt okay so employee id you have to give the data type of employee id so employee id is just a number so we will just give as integer because it is it is just a integer okay so after giving one column and data type of that column you have to give the comma and after that employee name employee name will be just a string so we will you give worker here okay and after that you have to give the maximum value which this employee name can show so employee name will be just a 50 100 or you can give any type of maximum values which employee name can store okay and after that we have to give comma employee address will also be a worker or you can just give uh, the character as well right employee salary employee salary will be just an integer okay and after that you have to give the comma you have to give the comma here as well okay and employee phone employee phone will also be an integer right so like this way you have to give the data type of the columns okay and after that you have to give this parenthesis you have to close this parenthesis because we have started this parenthesis here so we have to close this here as well right so this is just a metadata simple metadata for creating a table how can you create the table okay so this is a table create table employee and after that you have to give the column name and uh, after that you have to give the data type of that column is what type of values that column can store okay so employee id integer employee name worker address worker salary integer employee employee phone as integer okay and there is a one thing that you can just put this employee id to the auto in increment as well okay we will discuss that thing later on in upcoming videos and uh, let, let me tell you one thing uh, suppose that you want to declare any of the key any of the column as a primary key basically we give uh, ids or roll numbers if you are dealing with the students so we are just giving ids as a primary key so that we don't have to write and it will be just a unique number okay so suppose that you want to give any column as a primary key so you can give like this way okay primary key and suppose that i want to give primary key to this i uh, employee id okay so i will just give the name of this column and i will close this and if we will we have to give the comma here okay right? employee id so in our now our primary key is employee id okay and we will uh, discuss about primary key foreign keys okay uh, later on in the upcoming videos briefly right meanwhile just uh, we are telling that how can you declare any of the key as a primary key and how can you create the table okay so this is the metadata for creating the table which is ready and now we will just execute this and you will see here in the chapter 3 we will get one table with the name employee okay so let's execute this okay you can see this is action out output you can check the this is basically a our console where you will see that whether your query is run successfully or not or it is working fine or if you are getting any error then th that will show error here okay you can see this is the table metadata which i have created okay so let's refresh and let's see you can see in the tables we got this table and we are having these columns columns indexes foreign key trigger so if you will get trigger then they will those will show here in the triggers okay these are the columns which i have created okay so this is employee table which is create being created successfully so by this way you can create create the any of the table okay and if you want to check the columns or you want to check the data then you have to perform the select query we will understand better this thing about the select query later on but meanwhile i am just telling you how can you fetch all of the data so for selecting all of the data from this table uh, so you have to write select 
asterisk means asterisk means all you are selecting all of the data from the column from this table select asterisk and after that you have to write from from where you are selecting the data we are selecting the data from this table so we will write here select asterisk now guys you can see this is just a very simple to learn my sql or sql language okay because here we are just using our english or normal english okay so you can just execute this and you can see we got all of the columns as we are not having any of the values so that's why it is showing null 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 right employee id employee name employee address employee salary employee phone okay you can see we got all these things okay and if you want to select uh, some any of the specific columns so you can write like this so select employee id select employee name so it will fetch only these columns from that table you can see this thing right so this is all about our first thing first point that is how can we create a table okay so by this way you can create a table okay so now we will see how can we create a table using another table means using our existing table how can we create the table okay so for that uh, first of all let's write one line so that things will be separate and our second point is create table using another table how can we create this thing okay so for that we have to just write the same syntax create table and uh, let's give the table name as employee 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 2 okay employee 2 as uh, now we are having employee table already now we are going to create this table employee 2 with the same metadata columns of this employee table we will create this employee two table from this table okay and guys suppose that there is a one requirement of you that you want all these metadata columns you want employee id name address salary phone in your this uh, another table employee two there is a requirement for getting the same columns in another table so instead of writing all these all these queries employee id employee name and defining the database data type of that table you can just simply create a another table by using your old table what whatever data type means uh, you, there is a requirement for you you can just create the table by that way right so there will be just a uh, time saving as well okay because there is a requirement for all these columns only and if we will create this table by these uh, writing these columns and data type then it will be just a kind time consuming so uh, uh, so that's why we are just creating the table of new table by using the older table okay so we will tell you how to do that okay so create table employee 2 and after that you have to write as keyword and after that you have to select the columns right select and suppose that uh, you want to select any specific columns from your any table you can select the specific columns and suppose that you want to copy all of the metadata columns from the older table to the new table then you can just you select all as i have told you here that for selecting all you have to write asterisk select all and after that uh, from where i want to create i want to create from this employee employee right so that's why we will write okay so we will just execute this and we will see we will get uh, one another table with the employee two and the data uh, metadata columns will be just same okay you can check like this so select asterisk from employee underscore zero two okay it will be having the same metadata columns you can see employee id employee name employee address employee salary employee phone okay as we are having in this employee table okay so by this way you can just create a table by using the and uh, using your existing table okay or suppose that you, you there is a requirement that you want to create this employee id employee name only so you can just uh, write like this we sell create table employee zero two as select you can just write here some columns employee id employee name okay suppose that there is our requirement about creating these much columns and we want on our suppose that i want our only these columns employee id and employee name from this existing table into this table so we will just only write the names of those columns which i want and there is a one benefit of this that you don't have to write these full queries and you don't have to define the data type of that column you can just simply write this single line query for just creating a new table from the existing table okay so let's execute and it will just generate a employee 03 and let's check the columns in the employee 03 we will see we got only employee id and employee name okay which i have written here okay so by this way you can create a new table from your existing tables okay so our second thing is also done now let's move to the third thing that is alter table this is a very important okay so let's give a line here so that we can just summarize these things quickly and 
very easily so let's write here comment as well so in the third we are going to alter the table and we will see how can we add delete so or rename the columns okay so for that uh, first of all we will see how can we add columns okay so let's uh, copy this metadata okay let's copy this thing and let's paste here okay? let's paste here so that we don't have to scroll again and again okay so create table employee and we have suppose that we have created this employee table earlier this table right and uh, i suppose that i forgot to add one column suppose that we here i have written only this column so id name add a salary phone and i want to include one new more column that is employee email okay so how can we add one more column to the existing table which is already created in the database okay so this is a table employee which is already available in the database and it is having these columns and i i want to add one more column to this table then how can we add that new column to this table so we will see that thing, okay so suppose that uh, i want to add new column employee email so how to do that so for that you have to alter the table you have to write like this way alter table and your table name i want to add new column to this table employee table so i will write this alter table employee and after that you have to use the add keyword add and after that whatever columns you want to add i want to add emp uh, emp email okay emp email and after that you have to give the data type of that uh, that column so uh, let me give 50 value and after that uh, you have to just give the semicolon okay and suppose that you, you want to add one more column so you can just put the comma and you can just uh, write like this employee role and employee role will also be a worker and this will be just a 20 so you can just add any of the n number of columns so by putting the comma okay so by this way these employee email and employee role columns will be added to this employee table okay so before executing let's uh, show you that columns first select a stick from employee and let me show you the column okay okay so let's use semicolon here because it is just taking the upper line as well so you can see now we are having employee id employee name employee address employee salary employee phone only okay but whenever we will execute this then two more extra columns will be added to this employee table okay so let's execute this first and then we will see that thing okay okay what it is saying employee id uh, okay what error it is saying worker 20 error. okay okay we have to close this parenthesis we forgot to close one parenthesis because we have started this so we have to close this as well this was for this worker okay so sorry for that you have to just remember this thing and note this thing that you whatever parenthesis you are starting you have to close all of these parentheses okay so now you can see zero rows affected and let's check the columns in the table you can see we got these employee email and employee role these are the column which i have added later on to our this table earlier we are having these columns and now we have added two more columns employee email and employee role so by this way you can add more columns to the existing table right so this is for adding columns how can we add the columns and now let's see that how can we uh, modify the columns we have to just write alter query again alter alter table employee is my table name which i am going to alter so for that alter table employee and after that you have to just write modify modify column which column you want to modify i want to modify this employee salary column modify column employee salary and i want to just modify this to worker right worker and let's uh, give or worker you can uh, let's not do worker let's convert this to float okay because there is must be some decimal value there must be some rupees and some paise as well so we are getting we are giving float okay float 20 okay so by this way you can just modify the column okay let's describe the table first describe employee then it will show the data type okay you can see employee salary employee salary data type is integer so we will just convert this integer to float okay we will see how can we modify this thing okay so let's execute this query and uh, you can see you have error in okay okay let's give the semicolon because it is just taking the upper line as well okay so let's execute and you can see zero rows affected as query run successfully it will just uh, modify our employee salary column and it will convert from integer to float okay so let's check again 
and uh, let's describe right then we will able to see the data type okay you can see employee salary earlier it was showing type as integer now we have got this as float because we have modified this column okay so by this way suppose that you have by mistake given data type of any of the column by mistake you have given wrong then you can just modify that data type of that specific column by this query right modify column okay these are just a very important queries which you will need while working in the real time projects and while working with the advanced level of mysql or multiple queries whenever you will work okay so that's why we are just understanding these things from basic only so that your concepts will be more clear okay so by this way you can just modify the columns by this way and you can change the data type of any specific column okay so and so now let's see that uh, how can we rename the column okay so let's uh, write here a uh, rename columns okay let's use semicolon okay so for renaming you have to just simply alter uh, again alter table we want to alter this employee table and we have to just write this is just a simple link rename column and suppose that uh, this is our employee salary this is employee will this is employee role okay so this is suppose that we are having this employee role I, as i have given employee role by mistake name we so i want to change this column name from employee role to employee department then how to just uh, change the name of any of the specific column from that table so for that we will just rename the column we will just write enter table table name rename keyword we will use and we will use this column and, and we will write which column i want to modify which column name i want to rename so i will write employee role i want to change this employee role to employee department and after that you have to give the same column okay so uh, let me show you the table columns you can see we are having employee role and we are going to change the column name of this employee role to employee department okay so we will do this thing by this query so let's execute this and it is run successfully and now let's check and let's verify you can see we got employee department here so by this way you can just uh, change the column names okay employee name okay so by this way you can just change any of the column names from uh, your table okay now modify column is done and now let's uh, see the last thing that is dropping the column dropping columns okay suppose that uh, you have written uh, okay let's write drop only okay suppose that you have by mistake added one extra column to the table and you want to drop that column you want to delete that column then how can you delete that column from that table okay suppose that here we are having employee email okay so i want to delete this column from this table then how to delete this thing let's see that how can we delete this thing okay okay so we have done the rename okay so let's copy this thing rename columns we have done right so now let's write here drop columns okay so how to drop the column for that you have to just write the alter let's write all the things in caps only you can use caps or you can use in write the things in small okay alter table here i want to alter this alter table employee and after that you have to write the drop keyword drop column and suppose that i want to drop you can drop anything you suppose that i want to drop this drop emp email okay emp email i will write like this way drop emp email so this column will be dropped okay you can see it has run successfully and let's check the column you can see employee email is just dropped successfully now we are having only employee address salary phone department name id right so by this way you can just uh, drop any of the columns from the table okay so this is all about the altering the table altering the columns how can we add the column describe the how can we modify the columns okay and how can you rename the columns and how can you just drop the columns okay so this is all about our this third point that is alter table add delete rename column so column like that okay so now uh, let's see how can we show the tables and how can we rename and all those rename the table now we are just renaming the columns names and we will see that how can we rename the uh rename the table okay so let's put these things in comments so that this red symbol red cross will go as it is not looking good okay so let's put all these things in comment right by putting two hyphens okay so let's put the line okay and now let's uh, learn about our fourth thing fourth 
fourth point that is show tables right so how can you show the tables okay you can just simply write the simple thing for showing the table so tables and you can just simply enter so it will show all of the table you can see we got employees employee employee 0 to employee 0 3 we are getting all of these tables okay this command is just a very helpful whenever you are working with the command line interface right so here you can just check the tables here also here only in the workbench but if you are working with the command line uh, or cell then you must be using this show tables to check the table because there we are just getting the black interface and we are not able to see the data then we have to just uh, write this command for checking the tables right so tables okay and suppose that you want to show the tables uh, show the tables from any of the specific database then you can simply write that like this way so tables from and you can give the database suppose that i want to check all of the tables from this data this database chapter 3 so you can write like this way as in chapter 3 we are having three tables so it is just showing like this okay and suppose that i want to check the day check the table from this sky database so it will show all these things employee column let me show you in the sky we are having three tables you can see employee column employee copy and employee copy too okay so by this way you can check the date check the tables from any of the specific database okay and you can use from or you can just use in as well in place of from okay let's execute and you can see in is also working right so you can use from or you can use in right so uh, let's uh, write here okay you can use in or you can use this thing as well. so tables let's give some call you can use you can use in or you can use for okay both are working N not for from both things will work okay and suppose that you want to uh, okay let's put this thing in comment and let's remove this thing and let's write this thing in comment so that this cross will go okay so you can use in or you can use for uh, you can use from and suppose that you want to check the data check the tables on based on some condition then you can also write like this say so tables uh, so tables uh, from suppose that i want to check in chapter 3 chapter 0 3 and uh, chapter 0 3 and we will just use like keyword here you will better understand about this like keyword whenever we will learn about the comparison operators and all those things in the upcoming videos right uh, meanwhile just uh, you have to note this thing that how can we check the tables from the databases okay because this is a very important thing whenever we will deal with the big databases right uh, like and after that you can give the likes so that i am giving just employee and percentage right employee percentage okay so it will show all of the tables whose name is starting with the employee you can see you can check like this way as well okay and in place of from you can use in as well here as well okay and suppose that uh, you want to put uh, these things in the where clauses so you can do like this okay? that that way as tables are uh, from so tables from chapter 03 and you can put the uh, where condition where you can view like this way where table type is equals to you can view view okay so it will so all of the those uh, all of the views from that specific database okay you can check this thing okay so this is the thing by which you can check the tables okay as i am telling you all of these things briefly as some some are just telling only the show table command for checking the table but i am telling you all these things so that your concepts will be more clear and you will not get stuck in any of the point okay so that's why okay so these are the things by which you can just show the tables okay so show tables is done now and now let's see how can we rename the table and after that we will see describe table okay so for renaming rename is just a simple thing we will just use the rename keyword as we are just renaming the column in the similar way we will just uh, rename a table so let's write rename rename a table so for renaming a table we will just alter alter table employee alter table employee and suppose that i am taking example for employee 03 alter table employee 03 and rename to uh, let's uh, give here uh, instead of employee uh, let's give student student 02 okay 
So by this you can rename and let's refresh and you will see here. You can see employee 03 name is renamed to student 02. Okay. So by this way you can rename any of the table. Rename is just a simple. You can just use rename keyword for renaming the column or renaming a table or renaming a database. So we have renamed this thing. Now we will see that how can we describe the table. That's also a very important thing. So let's write the sixth point describing describe a table Des for describing a table you can just simply write this Des describe employee as we have done this thing already so it will show all of the all of the columns of that table with the, this data types of that table okay we have done this employee salary food employee phone okay so by this way you can just describe the table where it will show all of the columns with their data types specific data types of that column okay so and suppose that you want to check for uh, more information okay so let's write here simple okay and suppose that you want to check more information so you can just write like this way so columns from and you can write employee and you can just execute okay so it is just showing like this way right so you can just write so uh, you can just write so columns a uh, full full columns we will uh, we will write one query for uh, showing full columns okay so for that we will write so full columns for employee and it will show more descriptive information about that call you can see it is showing some privileges that what privilege this employee name suppose that this is employee name and what privilege it is having it is having select insert update or references okay you can see employee id null employee id could not be null because it is just a primary key and these columns can be null okay so it is just giving you some more information some descriptive information okay so let's write here this is for some more information about this thing okay? so if you want to check the more information then you can uh, do like this okay? okay and suppose that you want to see the execution plan so for that also you can write the query explain select a strict from employee you want to just uh, see the execution plan for this query then you can write like this way you can see select is simple just select and you can see filtered and all those things so you, you can check the execution plan also execution plan okay so you can see the execution plan by this way so so these are the just a three things this is just a simple and these these two are just uh, some advanced level whenever you will work then you will understand these things but okay as i am telling you all things from the basic to advanced okay so that your concepts will be more clear and you will not stuck in future so this is for describing the table okay describing the table is done okay so after describing uh, we were left with drop delete we will see drop delete truncate in one go and uh, now let's see the temporary table first which is a very important right so let's write this thing and let's uh, write our seventh so, uh, let's write eighth because we are taking the temporary table temporary table okay guys temporary as temporary name is just uh, suggesting that this is just a temporary table which we create for some time okay so the temporary tables will only exist as long as the session is alive means suppose that i am working here in this session okay and suppose that i have created one, uh, one temporary table so that table will be just remain alive whenever we are just working on the say on this session and if we are just logging out from this session then that temporary table will be just dropped automatically okay and there are basically three types of tables permanent table transient table and temporary table permanent table is just a by default table okay as here we are creating this table create table employee and we are not specifying any of the keyword that what type of table we want to create so by default whenever you will not give any of the table any of the keyword then permanent table will be created which cannot be dropped automatically whenever you will give the drop command from the any of the user will do then that permanent table will be dropped then permanent table cannot be dropped automatically okay so permanent table whenever we will write this thing simple create table in, in table name then by default 
permanent table will be created okay and there uh, another table is transient table where retention period is just 14 days after 14 days that table will just automatically drop okay and now we are having temporary table temporary table is just a temporary table which we use for just analysis purpose suppose that i want to store some data for temporary purpose for just analysis purpose then we can create a temporary table to save our resources it will not consume the resources of our server okay so that's why we are creating the temporary table and we will do our work for analysis and after that we will log out from the session then this temporary table will be automatically dropped from that session okay so this is about the temporary table how can you create these tables okay these tables will just remain active only whenever you are working and if you are log out if you are doing log out then this table will automatically drop okay and these tables will not be shown in these databases okay let me show you that thing as well okay so if you want to create a temporary table you can just give create or replace okay okay uh, instead of writing uh, let's copy from here okay so to save that time let's copy this thing and uh, let's paste here okay so after pasting i have to give the keyword create a temporary table because i want to create a temporary table by default it will create the uh, permanent table okay so if you want to create a temporary table then you have to write like this a uh, create temporary table okay so let's give name as create employee temp okay and let's execute okay so you can see we got temporary table but it will not show here okay and if you will execute the show tables command also then also it will not show here okay you can see we are not getting temporary table here because it is just a temporary table then how can we uh, check this table you have to just write select query for this select as tick from employee temp then it will show okay you can see we got all this thing employee id employee name employee address employee all these things okay and you can describe this thing describe employee temp for checking more information okay you can see we got all those things about this temporary table okay and whenever we will log out from this session this then this temporary table will automatically being dropped from this session okay so this is all about this our uh, temporary tables and now we are left with copy okay so how can we copy the data from the previous tables to the new table from one table to another table okay so let's see that thing as well how can we do this thing so this is our eighth number and let's see for the ninth number ninth number is copy okay and let's put this in comment and for the copy uh, let's uh, write here a uh, copy table data from one table to other table we can copy the data from one table to another basically we are doing the cloning here okay so suppose that you want to copy whole data okay so copy whole table data so how can you copy the whole table data so for that you have to write the query like this way select asterisk into and in which table you want to copy suppose that i want to copy the data from this employee table to this employee 02 okay so how can we do this thing so we will write select asterisk into into employee employee 2 i want to copy the data into this employee 2 table now from which table i want to copy i want to copy from this employee table okay and let's give a space after from i want to copy from this employee table okay so this is just a simple query suppose that you want to copy the whole data so you can write like this is select asterisk into employee table from employee this is a table employee table we are just copying the data from this employee table to this table okay so we are selecting into this from this table okay so that's why and if you want to copy a specific column then you can just give uh, is, is in place of st you can give the specific column names employee id employee name like this okay as i am not uh, running this query because I have not inserted any of the data. Uh, suppose that you want to copy the data based on some condition, then you can write here where you can you can write the where clause where EMP EMP salary is uh, greater than uh, nineteen thousand or like that. You can put the where clause as well. Okay, so this is just for copying the data. We will understand this thing better in our upcoming videos where we will understand about the cloning of the tables data, right? So, and now we are just left with drop, delete, and truncate. Okay, so this is all about this thing how can we copy the data and uh, uh, let's put this thing in comment and this is for describing a uh, copy and let's uh, write our last that is uh, drop delete 
or truncate okay so these are things are, are drop delete is same and truncate is different okay we will see the difference so the difference between drop and truncate is whenever you will drop any of the table then that table will be just removed from the databases but if you are truncating the table then that table will not be deleted but the data in present in that table will be deleted okay so this is a different okay so if you want to drop the table so you can just like this way drop table and suppose that i want to drop this student 0 to this table okay so i will write like this way and you can see this table is gone and we have dropped this table okay and suppose that if you are truncating any of the table so truncate table and suppose that you are truncating this employee table then this table will be truncated as now we are not having any of the data because we have not inserted any of the data so it is just showing uh, like this way so you can truncate the table or uh, based on your requirement or you can drop the table right so the difference is that if you are dropping the table then that table will be deleted from the database as you have seen here we have dropped this student 02 table and this table is gone from the database and we have truncated this employee table but this employee table is still here in our database because truncate means we are just truncating the data means we are just deleting the data from that table which is present in the rows and columns so truncate means we are just deleting the data but table is not being deleted in the truncate case but if you are dropping the table then that table will be deleted from the database okay so this is for drop delete and truncate okay so that's all for today's session and now in the next session we will see select update delete and some more advanced level queries okay so that's all for today's session and let's summarize what we have done we have seen that how can we create the table and how can we create the table by using another table metadata and how can we add column delete column modify the data type of any of the column how can we rename the column how can we drop the columns and we have seen this thing in advance how can we show the tables based on some conditions how can we rename a table describe a table what is a temporary table how to create this thing what are benefits of this table and we have seen how can we copy the data from one table another table and we have seen how can we drop delete and truncate to copy the data uh, you, this thing is will work fine and if you are facing any type of doubt then you can just text me and i will just surely help you out there copy copy command we will uh, see you in one separate session because uh, we are just uh, dealing with the cloning okay so in that session we will describe this thing better okay so that's all for today's session